What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you new methods to install FFmpeg that make life even easier. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel, and that includes the manual installation. I'll get there later on, but for now, the automatic installer for FFmpeg. As you probably know by now, you can download the exe files for FFmpeg, but how do you get it to work? Well, life just got a lot easier. I've pulled up a virtual machine just to show you from scratch. If I open a command prompt, you'll see FFmpeg, nothing happens. It's not installed. To install it, open up a browser and head to the link in the description down below. We'll be downloading a software called Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a package manager for Windows. It basically lets us install programs using community-made scripts and things like that. Scrolling down under install Chocolatey for individual use, simply copy this command here by clicking the paste button to the right hand side of it here. Once you've copied it, hit start, type in PowerShell, and we'll be opening PowerShell as admin. Inside of here, right click to paste the command we just copied, hit enter, and Chocolatey will start to install. After a few seconds, Chocolatey is now installed. We can test by typing Choco. Should it say something like this, you've successfully installed it. To install FFmpeg, type Choco install FFmpeg. Before you hit enter, we do have multiple options. On the Chocolatey page, I can head to find packages on the right hand side, and you can see all of the different packages from the community. If I search for FFmpeg here, you'll see we have FFmpeg, FFmpeg shared, full, etc. These are the three main versions that you can download. Full contains the most codecs and things that you'll probably want. This is the one I'd recommend you download unless you know normal FFmpeg is good enough. So you can type in FFmpeg or FFmpeg hyphen full like I will in my case. Hit enter and just like that, FFmpeg will be downloaded and installed all for you, literally two commands. One to install Chocolatey and the other for Chocolatey to install FFmpeg. Now this is a 100 meg or so download. It will take a few seconds to complete depending on your line speed. Then I'll hit A to accept all. It'll then simply extract and just like that, FFmpeg is installed. If I clear and type in FFmpeg, Peg, hit enter, you can see a response. Congratulations, you now have the FFmpeg full build installed with tons of features in it. Really is that simple. Now that we have FFmpeg installed with Chocolatey, how do we update it or uninstall it? Well, opening a new command prompt, we can simply run choco upgrade FFmpeg hyphen full or shared or just normal FFmpeg. Upon hitting enter, it'll update if there's an update available. Otherwise, if it's not installed, it'll go ahead and install it. To uninstall FFmpeg using Chocolatey, use Choco uninstall FFmpeg full. Upon hitting enter, FFmpeg will be completely removed from your PC. The become FFmpeg, we now have no response. How do we install it manually if you don't want to download Chocolatey? Well, it's somewhat simple. Heading across to the FFmpeg download page, you'll see this here. Hovering over Windows gives us two download links, Gaian.dev and BTBN. These are mostly the same, they're just different ways of downloading the same thing. So on BTBN, scrolling down, we have Essentials and Full. You'll need 7-zip to open these files. If you don't already have it installed, you'll find a link down below. On the BTBN page, we have a bunch of different options here as well. This is equally as confusing. We have GPL shared for Windows, GPL, and that's really all the options we get. As far as I understand, these aren't the full builds. For these, you can just download one of them. I think the bigger one has more codecs, so just GPL.zip, the bottom one here. We can wait for this to download. And the Gaian.dev page here, we can download the full 7z file here. Now, these are Git master builds, so they may be glitchy or buggy. They're all the way up to date on the latest push to the FFmpeg repo. Scrolling down, we have release builds, which are considered stable. We have full and full shared. Once again, you can download these here instead. In order to open these 7z files, you'll need 7-zip. You'll find a link to this in the description down below. Download the 64-bit version from the very top here and open it up. Then run, then install, close, and now we have 7-zip installed, we can open the file from Gaian. Checking my downloads folder, you'll see the zip file we downloaded here, and inside of it a folder and a bin folder, this is where our FFmpeg files are. I'll make a new folder here and call it btbn. I'll place these in here. Should you choose to download it from Gaian instead, you have the 7z file here. To open it, double click on it, and assuming it doesn't automatically open in 7zip, click choose an app on your PC, then we'll navigate to C. 
program files, 7-zip, and locate 7ZFM. Open and always. Now we have a similar zip folder here that we can explore. Open the folder, open the bin folder, and now we have these EXEs. I'll call this Gyan. So drag them out of the 7-zip folder into the Gyan folder we just created, and just like that, we now have it set up. So BTBN, these ones are 112 megs, and the Gyan releases here are 128. Once again, I assume Bigger has more codecs. But anyways, FFmpeg, we have no response. But if I were to open one of the folders here, type CMD at the very top, hit enter, and type FFmpeg, as we're now inside of the folder with the FFmpeg EXEs. If I hit enter, we get a response here. To get this command to work anywhere on our PC, all we need to do is copy this path here. For me, it's on my desktop, BTPN, but of course for you, it could be in documents, on your C drive, wherever, just as long as you don't move it or delete it after you do this. So find a permanent home for FFmpeg now and move the folder there and then copy the path to this folder. Now hit start and type in path. P-A-T-H. You're looking for edit the system and environment variables. Open this, then inside of here, click environment variables at the very bottom, click path under use variables at the top, otherwise path under system variables, should you want to set this for every user on your PC. I'll do it for just me, so path and edit. Then click new and simply paste the path in here. Then click OK. Should you do this for multiple users, use the system variable path here and make sure that it's in a place where all users on the system can access it. Then hit OK and OK. Simply restart any terminals or command prompt windows you have open as we'll need to reopen them to see a change. Now we can type FFmpeg, hit enter and we should see a response like this. Perfect. Should you ever delete, remove or rename this folder, you'll see that running FFmpeg once more results in nothing. It will need to be a permanent home on your PC. You can always move it back or change the location in your system of variables later on. To uninstall it, just delete these folders here and I'd recommend you remove that path from your system variables as well. But anyways, that's it for this quick guide for installing FFmpeg on Windows 10, 11, 7, 8, etc. Chocolatey makes it really easy to install and upgrade, so I'd highly recommend you use that path instead. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!